Yeah, well, congratulations with your fantastic uh, goal and uh, great game in the weekend. All right, Zach, thanks. Baba, uh, how has it gone for you since you started here in VFF in the Super League? Uh, it's been good so far. You know, of course, it takes some time to get adjusted to the new team and uh, to obviously playing in the Super League. But it's been good so far, and uh, we've had some good results, so that's been good as well. Uh, you made a fantastic goal uh, this weekend, and uh, people have started talking about uh, now you are the US Air Force One. Uh, do you think we're going to see more of this in this season? Uh, I'd like to hope so. You know, the the um, the, the service that we have, you know, the, the crosses that are coming in are, are much better than anything I've seen before. So I'd hope to score a lot more goals the rest of the season. I remember myself when I was in Mexico. I know uh, Brad Hangelen and a former VFF player called uh, Mickey Cargo. Whenever there is a corner, then they said they send the Air Force to, to go uh, finish the, uh, the, the set pieces. Uh, I'm really looking forward. I'm really looking forward that uh, you're going to do this this kind of, I mean, uh, great uh, performance that you're having with the uh, set pieces. You think that the, the Simonelle or may, maybe uh, Paulson, Christian Paul, uh, Christopher Paulson, the cross that they're giving you, are you satisfied with it? Yeah, I'm more than satisfied, you know, and when I, since I've come uh, to Vivo, it's one thing I noticed, uh, the quality in their crossing is much better than anything I've seen. Mm. So I expect to score more goals this season than I've ever scored before. And what is uh, the goal for you for this season? Uh, the goal for me this season is, um, one, to stay healthy. Um, and then uh, two to stay in the team and continue to play the matches and three for us to, to, to do well and get, continue to get good results. We have FC Code this, uh, this weekend, Baba. Uh, are we going to see the KG that you have? Can you, can you show the KG to the fans? Well, I know they want to see it. Uh, it's coming FC Code. It's going to be a very big game this, uh, this Sunday. Uh, they, they, they normally are top team and now they are down on the bottom. You think that uh, we, we're going to uh, win this game and uh, what is your expectation for the, for the weekend game? Um, you know, it's going to be a tough game, like any game in the Super League. Um, you know, they're at the bottom now, so they're, they're fighting for every point that they can get. And uh, you know, I know they've just switched their coach, so I'm sure they're, they're going to come out and be ready to play the match. Uh, I think if we just continue to do what we've done throughout the season, then we'll have a chance to win the game like we've had a chance in every game we've played so far. Mm. And the last uh, question is, uh, people have been asking, that, uh, do you speak Danish? <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. You know, I start when I was uh, when I was in, with Yoring. I uh, lived in Alberg and started taking classes there. Mm -hmm. And now I've just registered my address here in uh, Vibokshaw. Joined the class now, and I uh, continue to learn. So, what can you, what word can you say in Danish? I can say quite a bit. You know, I can understand more than I can say. Um, uh, but um, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning. You know, this word that uh, they normally use when foreigners come to Denmark. They say, "Can you say welcome a flu?" Is it something that you can say? Uh, uh, can you repeat that for me? It's called. Oh, call me free. Oh, call me free. Ah, I can see that's better. But you can see at the fans, you can see that the, the Air Force One is ready for Sunday. <laughs> I hope you're going to be there Sunday to support Uwe Drange, some, like they are singing. Uwe Drange, Uwe Drange, Puvai. I hope I come up for Sunday or we clap for Sunday. So, me, Gucci. Thank you, Baba. Thanks for talking.